I am bored with self-help. I am bored with self-development. I am bored with coaching people who just want to be happier, who want to have more of what they want in their life. I'm bored with one person at a time getting a little bit more out of life and two people, myself and the client, working on just having them get a little bit more out of life. How much more juice can we squeeze out of this one lemon that is you? Two people on one person's life. It's, you know, when I get off of the self-development uh, thread and I look out into the world and I see all the stuff that's happening around the world, all the suffering, all the people that could use help in big ways, I'm like, why are two people, two intelligent, resourceful people, why are two intelligent, resourceful people, why are they focused on just making one person a little bit happier? It's not enough. It's not enough. I'll tell you what, this is hindsight, 2020, but over the past six months to a year, the clients that I've really enjoyed the most working with and the ones that have created the most success have been the ones um, whose work and our work wasn't really around them and them being happier, but it was around what they're doing in the world, the, per the mission they're on, the impact that they're having, the, the cause uh, uh, on helping them helping others and so what I love is other help other development um, helping people to help other people and so for me my coaching uh, is really focused on that it's been that way for a while unconsciously but now I'm really clear that that, that is my work I'm going to coach you but only if you have a mission to really serve the world, to impact the world, to, to some kind of purpose that's bigger than you. And that's going to be our primary objective. And yes, you'll grow, but it will be inadvertent. It will be a secondary gain. A secondary gain. Because the reality is, that's how all self-development happens anyway. I mean, self-help is a, it's a paradox. It's ridiculous, actually. If you want to help yourself, you do that by taking your focus off yourself and putting it outside on others. It doesn't mean you ignore yourself completely, but your orientation isn't self when you're growing. It can't be. It's like trying to run looking at your feet or riding a bike looking at the ground or walking around holding a mirror in front of your face. Just, you know, it doesn't work. So other help is actually how self-development happens. Other meaning a thing or people or whatever. And so that's what I don't want you to know about me, that I am fucking bored with self-help. And actually, I think this whole world is so hyper-focused on the development of self and I, I, I. They say the me generation, the age of I. That, you know, coaching being all oriented around helping individual I, self, to develop and enhance. Isn't there enough of that shit? Isn't there enough of, of us doing everything we can to get everything we can out of life as an individual? And isn't there not enough of us helping others? Where's the other help de uh, movement? Where's the other development movement? Where are the coaches that are only willing to work with people who are out there making a difference in the world as opposed to trying to make a difference for themselves in their world? I get that coaching is about helping people, but it's kind of paradoxical and oxymoronic, isn't it? Maybe you think it's bullshit, but whatever, this is what's true for me right now. Uh, and I'm sharing because it's scary for me to do so, and that's the, that's the way I roll. Love you.